It has been nearly three months since a Portland woman was found dead on the street. Her family is still looking for answers. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Yukono. And I'm Amanda Hill. Bethany Kelly was just 23 years old, and she was one of the hundreds in Portland who, on any given night, had no place to call home. For those who are still out there, more than a million dollars in federal funding has already been handed out to homeless shelters across the state. New Center Maine's Jack Mulmid breaks down how the money will be used to keep the unhoused a little safer. Hoping, I'm really hoping it's not because she was homeless and like they're not taking it as seriously, but I don't like, I don't really have any other way to feel. Melissa Green says she and her mom haven't heard much at all from Portland police about who killed her sister, 23 year old Bethany Kelly. It's honestly heartbreaking. I loved my sister a lot. I really did. We were there for each other when we were little, and it's a very hard situation. Approaching three months now with no updates, Melissa says over the phone that her family is losing hope. Police will find the killer or killers. I honestly hope that they're actually working really hard to find who murdered her because it's been too long. It's, it's crazy. It's been too long. And it is absolutely the case, particularly... Um, for younger people, for women, uh, but for all people who are unhoused and unsheltered outside. That's the CEO of mid Main Homeless Shelter in Waterville, Katie Spencer-White, a small town compared to Portland and Bangor, where unhoused encampments are normal. She says bringing people off the street and indoors reduces the risk of them becoming victims of violent crimes. Outside of Portland and Bangor, we didn't see large populations of unhoused people. Uh, certainly not encampments of tents. We are seeing that now. She's also one of 13 shelters in Maine that got state funding that was granted to the nonprofit Maine Housing. Her shelter got $31,000, half of about what it takes to operate an overnight shelter for an entire year. And there was an urgency to get that money out the door as quickly as we could. Dan Brennan's the director of Maine Housing, and he says more than a million dollars have already been sent to homeless shelters from Arista County to York County. Uh, keeping people safe off the street, those who don't have a housing situation. Now, all the money we're talking about is already dished out to shelters who are in need, but it started here at the State House in a bipartisan effort. Brennan tells me that if you are a shelter who is in need or if you have longer term plans beyond just saving people for this winter, he says there's a new window of opportunity to apply for funding through Maine Housing, and that application ends on on February 24th in Augusta, Jack Mulmud, New Center, Maine. We reached out to Portland police about any updates into the killing of Bethany Kelly and about the ongoing homicide investigation into Nicholas Gardner, who was killed in January. They say there are no updates.